A new educational program aims to make law enforcement agencies much more effective when dealing with human remains. News 13's Jack Billu sat in on today's lesson in the PD and also spoke to the instructors about their mission. Here at the Florence National Cemetery, officers from several different departments learned how to use a ground penetrating scanner by looking at mass graves from the Civil War. It's one of several drills that are a part of the Human Remains Recovery Course, which includes other drills like identifying bones and digging up clandestine graves. Some running, lots of sniffing, and then taking a seat. That's how cadaver dogs tell their handler there's a body nearby. Yeah, you know, my busiest year that I think I ever had, I was called out 10 times across the state. Hannah Davis, the head trainer for East Carolina Search and Recovery Team, says most departments don't have cadaver dogs because their skill set is too specific. Instead, they call in volunteers like her and her dogs. So for a department that might get one human remains case, every 12 years, that's not a good, a good use of their funds. So that's where we come in. And most human remains detection dogs that you see nationwide are going to be um, handled by volunteers. She and anthropologist Paul Martin aim to share their skills with local agencies. One of today's activities involved hunting down and identifying bones scattered in the woods meant to simulate months of decomposition, weather exposure, and hungry scavengers. It's very much kind of like a uh, scavenger hunt and assembling a jigsaw puzzle all at the same time. They hope their instruction will teach investigators to use archaeological methods and preserve as much information from a crime scene as possible. Hopefully we're recovering all of the evidence to help provide uh, closure and provide answers for the families. This is the first program of its kind in the state. The course lasts till Saturday. In Florence, Jack Billu, News 13.